friends, I'm Trish with Crafting Cousins. Today, I am so excited to be able to review X-Tool's newest laser, the M1 Ultra. Now, if you've been around our channel for any amount of time, you know that I have the original M1. They sent it to me a couple of years ago. I fell in love with it, and y'all, I have really put it through its paces. It allowed me to up my crafting game. I can sell higher end pieces when I go to craft shows and it allowed me to be able to start a side hustle. I opened an Etsy shop. I'm able to sell my craft kits in there and it's all because of my laser. So when Xtool reached out and asked if we would be interested in reviewing the M1 Ultra, I could not wait to see what this one would do. It is a 20 watt compared to the 10 watt that I have in the original. So I can't wait to see how much thicker material I can cut. I've had a project in mind for a while that I haven't been able to do because it was a little bit too thick for my original. So I can't wait to see if this machine is going to cut it for me. Now, I was a little bit hesitant when I started looking over the specs for this machine because it doesn't have a camera. I love the camera in my M1. I'm probably pretty addicted to it. I rely on it for everything. It helps me to be able to use all of my pieces of wood down to the very smallest pieces. And I was worried that if this one didn't have a camera, I wouldn't be able to do that. But they have replaced the camera with a pinpoint precision system and y'all it is just as good if not better than the camera once you get used to it you're not going to waste any wood so this machine will actually replace four different machines we are going to talk about that a little bit in a moment today i'm only going to be working with the cutting and engraving module that is my favorite thing to do that's what i do almost all the time and while i'm very excited about the other modules and i can't wait to tell you about it i think we're going to save working with those for another day. We'll come back in a few weeks and we'll do another video and see how those pieces worked out. But for now, let's hop into this, see how easy it is to set up and just what it can do. Before I get into all the features that this machine has, I want to talk about the 20W Ultimate Bundle. It's honestly one of the best deals that you can get if you're serious about using this machine whether you're using it for personal projects or if you're looking to start a side hustle like I did with my Etsy shop, this bundle has everything you need from the laser to the air assistance, the riser, all the accessories. You can buy the pieces separately, but I would highly recommend going all in with the bundle if you're planning to use it regularly. It's definitely worth the investment and in the end, it will come out cheaper. So let's talk about the difference between the 10 watt M1 and this new 20 watt M1 Ultra. One of the biggest differences is the power. With 20 watts of laser power, the Ultra does cut faster and deeper, and it is more precise than the original 10W. That means that you can tackle thicker materials, more intricate designs without any trouble, and it's perfect for people who have woodworking shops like mine who want to create detailed cuts and engravings quickly and beautifully. Plus, the Ultra also brings a lot of versatility. It's honestly like having four machines in one. You get the laser engraver and cutter, blade cutting and fulling, like you would with your Cricut, inkjet color printing, and it even prints on wood, and a pen mode for auto drawing and writing. Let's break down what that really means for your crafting. For today's video, I decided to only use the laser mode. That is what I do the most of. I like cutting wood, I like engraving things. So I decided for this video, we would really hone in on that. And then in the future, we will look at the other pieces. Now I have to say that I am kind of hooked on this. With 20 watts of power, I have been cutting the most intricate wood pieces for my Etsy shop, especially for Christmas decorations, and they have been turning out beautiful. The precision is incredible. I'm talking tiny details that just wouldn't be possible with a regular cutting machine. But of course, it's not just about cutting. The Ultra also handles engraving like a pro. I did a test run on a leather keychain. I ended up having to use 
three of them but that was just about placement I was getting used to the precision pinpoint and once I did it turned out great I also did a horse for my niece she's absolutely in love with horses and I did a 3d engraving I got the file from creative fabrica and I think it turned out beautiful I know she's absolutely going to love it this handles materials like glass and metal it just opens up endless possibilities one of the things I love most about the M1 Ultra is how simple it is to set up. Whether you have used lasers before or you are new, you are going to be able to master this in no time. It's pretty much just plug and play. After unboxing, I just removed the packing materials. I took out those screws that hold everything in place and then I plugged it in and was pretty much ready to go. One thing to note though is that you need to hook up your air vent. You're going to want to attach the vent to an outside window or vent it out of a window or you can use an air purifier to handle the smoke. This machine also comes with an air assist attachment and y'all that's a lifesaver. It helps to prevent scorching on your projects so you're left with smooth clean cuts every time. I cannot imagine using a laser without one now. Now air assist is an extra accessory but if you get the bundle it comes with it now y'all know that I do a lot of wood cutting and that's where the M1 Ultra really shines for me I've been working on a batch of Christmas ornaments and signs for my Etsy shop and the Ultra has been a dream it cuts through wood with ease the intricate details are amazing I did some angels with lacy wings and I also did a nativity Christmas tree and y'all the cuts are just absolutely amazing I'm not talking about big chunky cuts either I'm talking about those tiny delicate designs that are perfect for holiday decorations and they turn out perfectly every time now I haven't had a chance to try out the blade mode the inkjet module and the pen mode but I am going to be doing that in a future video so make sure you stay tuned so my final thoughts on this X tool m1 ultra is that it's honestly a must-have for crafters after putting it to the test I really do think that it's worth it. It replaces four machines. It's so easy to set up. It has the power and the precision to handle all kinds of projects. Whether you're a seasoned crafter or you're just starting out, this machine is going to take your crafting game to a whole new level. So if you're thinking about making the investment, especially with the holidays coming up, I say go for it. You are not going to regret it. I will have a link down in the description box below that will take you over to X Tool and give you all the information that you're going to need to be able to purchase your own and if this is something you're serious about ask for it for Christmas get your family to pitch in and give you something like this and you're going to be able to start that side hustle increase your sales at your craft shows y'all you are going to be so happy with this thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video Get ready for the Crafty Cruise Getaway 2025. Sailing from Galveston, Texas to the beautiful shores of Costa Maya and Cozumel, this is a crafting adventure you won't want to miss. This year, we're thrilled to welcome a very special guest host, Sammy Veltry from Unicorn Dust Designs. Sammy will be teaching an exclusive crafting workshop that you're sure to enjoy whether you're a seasoned crafter or just starting out. Known for her amazing DIY creations and vibrant personality, Sammy's class will be a memorable creative experience. Join us for an unforgettable journey filled with creativity, relaxation, and amazing memories. We can't wait to see you on board in 2025. Thank you so much for watching today. If you saw something you liked, we hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and if you have any suggestions. We just love hearing from y'all and it really does help our channel grow. We are also over on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest and would love it if you would click the link below and join us over there as well. If you enjoyed this episode, check out these videos for even more DIY inspiration. Bye y'all!